welcome to one and all welcome for abvk group of institution for everyone today i'm going to explain fifth standard social science lesson number two that is the movement of the earth and its effect lesson number three fifth standard lesson number three the movement of the earth and its effects so the moment what do you mean by moment moment is an action okay the moment is a action the moment of the heart we have to move on the, we have to see that the moment of the heart how many moments are there there are two moments which are those first one is a rotation and second one is the revolution so there are two moment one is a rotation and another one is a revolution so what do you mean by rotation rotation is a spinning of the heart what do you mean by rotation rotation is a spinning of the heart on its axis from east west direction it is a it is a axis it is a axis okay and what do you mean by axis axis is a imaginary line between the north pole this is north pole and this is the south pole see this is the axis imaginary lines between the north pole and south pole the axis is tilted tilted what do you mean by tilted the tilted is nothing but movement okay the how the rotation will move rotation is the spinning of the heart on the axis from east west direction so how it will move means it will east west direction it's next the consequence the consequence of rotation what is the consequence of rotation the rotation of the heart every 24 hours so the rotation cause the day and night okay rotation cause the day and night the as the heart rotates the side facing as a sunday okay so the rotation of the heart every 24 hours per one rotation it will take 24 hours and it cause the day and night so the rotation cause the day and night it is a day when the side of the heart where the sunshine when we are getting the sunshine that is a day when we are not getting the sunshine that is a night okay it is the day on the side heart of where the sunshine on the other side of the heart is a night it is a rhythmic rise and fall of the ocean water twice a day and the japan japan is one of the country which lives in the eastern extreme east of the eastern hemisphere where it is lies it is lies in the eastern hemisphere it is called as a land of rising sun what we will call we will call as a land of rising sun and i told you japan japan is one of the country it is called as a rising of the land where it lies it lies in the eastern hemisphere next we have to move on the earth revolution so what do you mean by earth revolution a revolution after the uh, occurs as the earth moves around the sun so the earth is revolves the around the sun what how much time it will take for revolution it will take 365 quarter day means quarter means 1 by 4 so it will take 365 quarter a day means 8766 hours it will take what is that 365 quarter day means each and every by according to our calendar wise we have we are getting only 365 days what about that uh, quarter every year we have the quarter days but we are not getting the uh, correct in that okay so quarter day it will be there for after four years it will make one day so then we are getting the 366 days if 366 days it will come means we are called as a leap year now 2020 also one of the leap, leap year we will call as a this year leap year okay in that 29th february month we are getting 29 days next what is the speed how the speed of the heart revolution is about 80 miles per second so for one second it will go for 18 miles so revolution cause the seasons revolution cause the seasons rotation cause the day and night 
Revolution. The earth revolves around the sun. What do you mean by revolution? Revolution is the revolves around the sun. It will take 365 water day to complete the one revolution. Can you see the picture? See that in between the sun will be there. The earth is revolves around the sun. How many days it will take? It will take 365 days. The earth axis. What do you mean by axis? Axis is nothing but imaginary line. It is not a perpendicular. What do you mean by perpendicular means that is 90 degree, uh, 90 degree angle. It is not there in our heart 90 degree because it is a slightly flattened. Yes or no? It is tilted means it is a sloping, a little bit sloping and it is a plane. Plain, what do you mean by plain? Plain means a flat lines are called plane of the earth orbit. The axis is tilted 23.5 angle with the respect to the plane of the movement around the sun. So it is moving 23.5 degree angle with the respect to the plane of the moment. In that moment only it will move. So can you see that? See this is the rotation rotation and this one is the revolution always the rotation will move on the east west direction revolution will move, revolution it will move on the uh, north south direction so in that we have to see uh, this is uh, in between the line it is a uh, imagine equator what is that equator equator is the between the uh, between the earth it will divide it into the earth uh, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere next what is the consequence of revolution and the seasons so what are the causes to uh, what are the factors are cause the seasons which is, there are three factors are there in the cause the seasons which are those means the revolution of the earth around the sun the revolution of the earth around the sun the tilt of the tilt means movement of the earth axis of rotation and respect to the plane of the ecliptic and the tilt of earth axis remains the constant next Revolution causes the four characteristics of position of the earth. Summer and winter we called as a celestic, celestic and spring and autumn we called as a equinox. Okay, equinox. We will call as a equinox. So, the seasons of the year. How many seasons are there? There are four seasons. Can you see the picture? See that summer, winter, autumn and spring. Summer, winter, autumn spring so there are four seasons these seasons are how the revolution caused the seasons this is the picture about the causes of the revolution next there are four main seasons on the earth experience how many seasons are there there are four seasons which are those summer winter spring autumn northern hemisphere experiences summer so northern side hemisphere northern in the earth has a Two part one is a northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, yes or no? In that northern hemisphere experience the summer, but the southern mm. hemisphere will have the winter. Twice a year sun shines directly. For one year, twice, two times the sun shines directly over it. So, during the, uh, during that equinox, equinox and uh, once on the each tropical tropic during the celestic celestic equi what do you mean by equi equi means equal what do you mean by equi equi means equal and nox equinox is the word will be there now what do you mean by equinox means equi means equal nox means night equinox is the time when all the places on the earth are the equal all the places it is there now equinox means it is a all places are same all the places are equal day and night. What about the soul? Soul is the, what do you mean by the uh, celestics? Celestis means, uh, soul means sun. And uh, celestics means standing still of the sun. Standing still of the sun. The seasons in the northern hemisphere. I told you in the uh, seasons in the northern sphere. During the summer in northern hemisphere, the earth is a further way. The, during the summer in northern hemisphere, the earth is a further away from the sun. The temperature is high. 
in that time the temperature is very high because there are more hours of the daylight because we will receive that more sunshine is no so that's why it is very hot and so during the summer seasons in the northern hemisphere the during the summer in the northern hemisphere hearth is the further away okay it is one of that from the sun earth is a further away from the sun and the temperature is higher because on the time already we told it is summer time it is the temperature is very higher because there are more hours there are more hours of daylight so that time hours are more of the daylight and because the sun rays hit the earth surface at the angle of 90 degree it will the 90 degree can you see this picture see that spring when the spring Spring will be there for example this is the spring season time okay spring equinox so and that time how is the days the days get longer means day time it is very longer but uh, compared to night time it is a uh, shorter so when it is june 21st uh, june of the longest day which is the longest day and the spring season means that is june 21st is the longest day yes now we have come on the summer solastic summer solastic when it will start it will start in the 21st june so in that summer how the days means the days get shorter in that summer days are very short and uh, nights are get longer okay summer means days are short nights are longer so when it is the last day at the night means that is 22nd september day and night are the same length on the last day the day and night both are same length only when 22nd september so 22nd september what is that 22nd september it is the ottoman equinox ottoman uh, uh, ottoman equinox okay in that uh, uh, 22nd September at uh, Equinox. So the days are shorter. In the time dates are shorter. Means day. Day is very shorter. Nights get longer. Until then 22nd December the shortest day. Which is the shortest day means that is December. Next uh, which is that this is the winter solastic. Winter, winter solastic it is start in the 21st December. Winter solastic it will start in the 21st December. So the days, how is the winter time solastic time is the days get longer. In that uh, winter solastics are days are get longer compared to nights very short on 22nd 21st march day night are the same length 21st march day are the same length now you understood now how the seasons of uh, in northern hemisphere occupied are uh, next this is the picture uh, same the topic this is the picture then summer it is in June 2021 and winter, summer, winter and winter, summer. Here, Ottoman and spring. Here, spring and Ottoman. It is continuously rotate, revolves around the sun. This is the season so in northern hemisphere. Now, we have to move on the rotation versus revolution. What are the difference between the rotation and revolution? So, what is there in the rotation? The rotation, the spinning of the planet. What will be there? Planets, moon, sun and other object around its axis. How it will move? It will move on the axis. Means imaginary line it will move. Next, wherever uh, we are moving on to the revolution means the one orbit is an object. So, only one single orbit way will be there. Path will be there. That path only the earth want to move. So, the object in the space around the another object space such as a moon around the earth in the same place only it has to move and how the rotates will move rotate uh, how many hours it will take to rotation so it will take 24 hours for one rotation and what about revolution revolution it will take 365 days rotation take for one day and revolution take for one year and rotation from east west direction it will move like a counter clockwise it will move even though revolution also it will move east west direction like a counter clockwise and the rotation cause the day and night revolution cause the uh, seasons revolution cause the seasons this is the uh, uh, this is the celestis 
and uh, equinance okay celestics and equinance what do you mean by celestics it is a one of the two days one of two days okay one of two days in the year when the sun is the highest the sun is very highest or lowest sometime it will be highest and sometime it will be lowest point in the sky at when at what time at 12 o'clock see celestics one of the two days okay one of two days one or two days in the year in one year the sun is very highest or lowest point very highest or lowest point in the sky at 12 o'clock that is called as the solastic now summer solastic what do you mean by summer solastic yeah, summer solastic means on 21st june when the sun shines directly over it is or no on 21st june when sun directly over it to the tropic of cancer this is the tropic of cancer in northern hemisphere and tilted what do you mean by tilted movement towards the sun it will towards the sun it is towards the sun and it towards the sun it is a experience of summer celestics it will experience of the summer celestics and this is the rotation axis north pole south pole this is the arctic circle in between equator the earth has a the uh, heart will be there now it will in the tropic of cancer of northern hemisphere is still dead movement of the sun and experience the summer celestic it will take the summer celestic see in that sunrise directly it will go to the heart this place we call as a summer celestic the number of hours in that time the number of hours daylight okay number of hours are daylight goes and increasing the as we move to the north behind the arctic circle where we can see we can see in the arctic circle six month continuous daylight will be there okay in that six month continuous like the same sunrise will be sun rays will be there in the northern hemisphere this is called as a summer celestics next we have to move on the winter celestics what do you mean by winter celestics when it will start it will started on the december 22 on 22 december it will start the sun is directly to the tropic of cancer the, the sun is directly to the tropic of Cap capricorn see on 22nd december the sun is directly to the tropic of capricorn in the southern hemisphere this time we have to see that uh, we have to see that tropic of capricorn and it is closer to the sun making it a summer it is very closer to the sun and also it's make that summer the heart and sun is very closer it's make a summer in the northern hemisphere experience the winter solastic so when we are move on the northern hemisphere we are experience about the winter solastic the day is very shortest day in the northern hemisphere when we are more on the northern hemisphere the days should be a shortest means very small one by one shortest means less days in that northern hemisphere next next we have to move on the celestis and uh, equinox okay celestics and equinox equinox what do you mean by equinox equinox is a one of the one of two days in the year when the day and night are the same length of time so when the one or two days of the year one of two days or in the year when the day and night are the same length of the time it is called as a equinox okay what do you mean by equinox equinox are nothing but one of two days in the year when the day and night are the same length it is not a shorter and it is not a longer it is both are the same can you see this picture see it's march uh, uh, march equinox also and uh, september equinox both are in the same north pole it is not slightly flattened also it will be straight in the 90 um, degree angle so it is 90 degree angle so we can see that it is the same length of the time so during the seasons temperature change the depend on the angle during the seasons time 
temperature changes depend on the angle how much angle it should be there now that angle depend upon the angles it will change the seasons and temperature for example it is in a uh, summer means it will have we are getting very hot so if we are winter seasons means we will get very cold so like that that during the seasons time temperature changes to the depend upon the angle and uh, hours and daylight because sun rays hit the earth surface at the angle of 90 degree so how during the seasons temperature changes depend on the angle at which sun rays hit the earth this uh, how the sun will uh, we will ascend, we will get the rays upon the earth no depend upon we have to know that which season it is so this is the summer celestics and this is the winter celestics it is a 24 hours of night time and it is a 24 hours of the night time so night time and day time the night time and this is the day time so this is the called as a uh, equinox so this is the lesson and what we are learned just once here we have to recall uh, so the heart has the two moments which are those that is the rotation and revolution so rotation is the spinning of the heart on its axis from the east to west one in the 24 hours and it causes the day and night rotation causes the day and night when the heart moves around the sun on its orbit once in the 365 days it is called as a revolution when the earth moves around the sun on its orbit once in a 365 days it is called as a revolution seasons are caused due to the tilt seasons are caused due to the tilt movement of the axis of the earth and it's a revolution around the sun it is a revolution around the sun there are four season there are four main season which are those summer winter spring autumn and there are four season so thank you